All right, we're up here on the Reds Mount Baldy Preserve, and we are here to introduce you to a new addition to the Reds bird hunting program, and that is the dog training package. And with the dog training package, you're gonna be able to swing into the shop and pick up a crate of chucker. We'll have five chucker in the crate for you. You're gonna be able to come up here on your own, and depending on what it is that you want to work on with your new pup, this is Twitch right here. She frankly needs a lot of work, but what we're going to be working on with her today is just kind of getting that whole sequence of point, find the bird, point the bird, flush the bird, and shoot the gun just to make sure that she's sound on that. And we've been working quite a bit with her, and she's 90% there, but we want to go ahead and and get her a little extra practice today. So in your crate, you've got chuckers. This is how easy it is to deal with chucker. You just open the crate up, reach in, grab one of those birds, and you want to grab them by both feet. When you pull it out here, they're nice and docile. That's why we like using chucker for the, for the bird training purposes, dog training purposes. And then what you want to do is once we get that bird out of the crate, it's a wise idea to go ahead and turn the dog loose and, and let the pups blow off some steam out there. And she's gonna run around a little bit. While she's doing that, we want her to settle down so that she's actually gonna hunt for us a little bit. While she's doing that, I'm gonna walk over and place this bird out here. And what I wanna do with Twitch right now is I'm just gonna locate this bird in the in the sagebrush in a place where I think she can find it. It's important when you plant chucker like this, we're not dizzying them, we're not doing anything that would inhibit their flying. So it's important that you locate them in a place where they've got some escape routes. And then the other thing that's important when you're training young dogs is you wanna have your, your regular hunting gear on, you wanna have your gun ready and walk out here. The dog needs to know that when you get dressed up like this, we're hunting, this isn't this isn't walkthroughs out here, this is full contact practice. And you also need to have the gun ready so that once you put this bird on the ground, she might come around that next piece of sagebrush and she's there and she's on point and you've got your opportunity to get your training in. And if you're not ready to go, you miss that opportunity. And we don't wanna do that with young dogs. Every piece of training that you get, you wanna make the most of it. So we're gonna go ahead and work this in right now got my gun ready to go just shooting a simple over and under with twitch early on I was a little worried that she might be a little gun shy she kind of started to stutter at the sound of the gun so on this first bird that I place right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll fire the gun but I'm not gonna fire the the gun over the top of her I'm gonna just shoot it off to the side and I'm really paying attention to the dog's reaction when I do that if I see that dog shy away from the sound of the gun then I will start back a ways and, and try and work in closer, back, back off, and then work in a little closer as we go on that. So I'm gonna walk over right now, and it looks like we have a nice piece of sagebrush up here. Twitch just ran by again here. So she's out running and hunting and looking for birds right now. And to put these birds down, to actually place them, this right here looks like it's gonna work good. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that bird, drop it right on the ground and walk away from it. And that bird is sitting there now. And I'll just kind of back off and I'm gonna get ready here. And now that I'm ready, we'll go ahead and try and run Twitch through here and see where she's at here. Take that bird Twitch, off hup. the ground. Good girl, Twitchy. Good girl, Twitchy. I was a little concerned Good coming girl. into this that she might be a little bit gun shy. She, she showed some signs of that in the past where when we fired the gun in the background, she's balked a little bit and given up the chase on the bird and that kind of thing. And so what I've done the first two times is fired the muzzle off to the side and not over the top of her when the bird is flushed. And, I didn't see anything to worry about with her at all. She kept chasing the bird after it got up. She was on it. She never broke stride. She never ran away or tried to come back to me. So I think she's feeling really comfortable right now. 
and now I'm going to go ahead and, and bring the noise in a little closer. I'm going to put another couple birds out and I'll actually try and shoot these birds over the top of her and finish our session today on a really strong note. Alright, so the last couple times that that we've done this, she's getting bird sent from somewhere here. I fired that muzzle blast off to the side to try and keep from spooking her, but I'm going to go ahead and try and shoot this bird over the top. She did great with the last two flushes here off to the side and if we can get a bird shot over the top of her and she does good with it, that'll be a great finish to today's session.